The Pilatus PC-12 has an FMS speed mode, which reduces your workload by calculating speeds for each phase of flight. We will discuss the FMS speed schedule, but for more information on the manual speed mode or the auto throttle system itself, refer to the video Thrust Management System on the Pilatus PC-12. When the speed knob is set to FMS, an FMS speed arrow points to the calculated speed and it is also shown numerically above the speed tape. The flight director and auto throttle systems will fly this speed if they are engaged. The FMS calculated speed takes into account many factors, including the phase of flight, aircraft configuration, altitude, and distance from departure and destination airports. Before using the FMS speed mode, it's important you have an understanding of how the mode functions, so let's look at a typical flight to see how the FMS speed mode works. Before takeoff, when a value is manually entered for VY, the FMS uses that speed as the first speed target, otherwise it defaults to 130 knots. During the takeoff, when the speed is greater than VY, the speed target is VY, up to a maximum of VY plus 10 knots. The speed target transitions from takeoff to the departure speed of 130 knots when the vertical flight director mode changes or the flaps are retracted. As you pass through 2,500 feet above the ground, more than four miles from the departure runway, the target speed accelerates to 140 knots for the climb. At any time, you can select a manual target speed by rotating the FMS manual knob to manual. If a manual speed is selected, the speed bug is shown on the airspeed tape, but the FMS speed will still be visible as a white arrow. This way, you know what speed the FMS will target if the FMS knob is rotated back to FMS. As the aircraft continues the climb, the FMS target speed changes to Mach 0.33 at flight level 230. When the aircraft reaches the cruise altitude, the speed defaults to 230 knots if cruising below flight level 230 or Mach 0.47 if above flight level 230. But these speeds can be modified on the performance initialization tab. The FMS speed for the descent is Mach 0.47 until reaching the crossover altitude, then it changes to 230 knots. The FMS will also comply with any speed restrictions on the arrival, as long as they exist in the flight plan. The FMS speed gradually decreases to help you get set up for the approach as the aircraft gets closer to the airport. The FMS targets 150 knots when within 15 miles of the destination and below 5,000 feet AGL, or when the flaps or landing gear are extended below 10,000 feet. When flaps 15 is selected, the speed is reduced to 110 knots. When flaps 30 is selected, the speed is further reduced to 100 knots. And the final target speed is 90 knots for flaps 40. In the event you have to go around, the FMS speed also changes with flap position. During the first part of the go around with the flaps at 40, the FMS speed is 90 knots. As the flaps are retracted, the speeds increase up to 130 knots for flaps zero. As always, you can select a manual speed at any time. If a go-around or missed approach leads to a hold, the FMS uses a default speed of 150 knots for the hold. The FMS Managed Speed on the Pilatus PC-12 is a great tool which provides a high level of automation and reduces workload. But it's important that you thoroughly understand the system and how it works before using it.